Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 6 starts now. An intense start to the James Crumbly involuntary manslaughter trial. He was the adult out of anyone in the world in the best position to prevent these kids' deaths. James Crumbly did not know what his son was going to do. The first day of testimony featuring a dramatic 911 call placed by the defendant. After the shooter situation going on at the high school, my son goes to the high school, I have a missing gun at my house. Glad you're with us tonight for Local 4 News at 6. I'm Devin Skillian. I'm Kimberly Gill. Much of the evidence seen today was also part of Jennifer Crumbly's trial. Things like the shooter's school worksheet and text messages between James and Jennifer. But then there were things like the gun lock purchased along with the pistol used in the Oxford school shooting. The prosecution pointing out it had never even been removed from its packaging, let alone applied to the gun. And near the end of the proceedings, a dramatic 911 call was played in which James Crumbly tells the Pashaw to take advantage. See how she did that? You see what she did there? Yeah, the water stopped it and she just went in and got it, gave them a one nothing lead. They wanted it in a shootout. Uh, the shootout was 3-1. Finally, if you're a college student, you need some quick cash, show up at your school's basketball game if they got a halftime putting contest and if you can make a 94-footer. You'll be just like the guy that did it at Butler last night and he took home five grand. We call this segment one in a gazillion. Massive highlight. How about this kid? 94 feet away. Has to try to squeeze it into a small little hole, and he's got it <laughs> for five grand. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Give him 10 grand. Oh, 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 grand for that. Nightly news is next. <laughs> State of the Union coming up tonight at 9 p.m.